This would be an absolute total nightmare if we had to go to each of the prosecutorial districts to get prosecution done. This is the beauty of working with the Attorney General's office. Well, howdy, y'all. Unky T here. As promised, I'm giving you part two of that uh, other video I put out earlier today. Um, like I said, I don't like to leave y'all in suspenders so y'all can see how it ends. Anyways, here it is. Enjoy. They hide under the under. There you go. They hide under the cloak. That they hide. They thank you, ma'am. They hide under the cloak. That if they get caught, they're going to get caught for one theft. One theft. And the reality is, look at the counties in the state of Florida, and look at the states across the nation. If you have any questions, the general and I will be glad to entertain them. But uh, General Moody, on behalf of all the people of the state of Florida, thank you. Thank you. And, and our team that did a remarkable investigative job, thank you very much. Because this is how we're effective when we all work together. The, the, basic, the basics were that they would buy a new television then they would buy salvage televisions and change the parts. And then they would return the one they just paid cash for and say, I just bought this te new television and it had a cracked screen when I got home. Well, it's labor intensive because you can't walk into a Walmart and bring three broken televisions. But on that particular day, when we were alerted in Arbondale, they'd already tried it and were denied in Winter Haven. Winter Haven said, take your television back to Jacksonville, where you bought it from. And they were also denied in Lake Wells. But keep in mind, they've got to buy these televisions, change out the parts, really quickly and return them really quickly because there's limits of time. You know, you can't buy a television today and return it six months from now because it's broken. They had a great system in place to switch out parts and return televisions. Do we think we've caught all of them? No. We think there are others that are actively engaged with this group that we have yet to identify. But we will identify them because I'm confident we'll do some plea like, well, instead of 160 years, we'll only give you 99 if you tell us who your compadres are. And the reality of it is that these folks need to go to jail for a very, very long time. Grigsby, we're going to give him a break. Okay, he's not going to jail. We, there was also a retail store involved in Georgia where you could go there and buy the secondhand televisions and it was quite an elaborate system. Questions? We've got a short surveillance video right here that, that we're going to queue up for you and then we'll make extra copies of that available if you need it later. I might also add that Michelle Walker was arrested last year for doing the same thing at Target stores. Bought him a couple of televisions and out of the store he goes. Whoops, they're broke. And they did that $3.6 million worth between 2014 and 2020. We share this information ac across with other retailers. We have several retail teams that are involved with us. We work with all the, all the major stores uh, across the state, and we've coached them, and they're looking out for this trick. So the next person that wants to try it, it's not going to be so easy because there's education and training that we've done in order for them to stop that theft up front. But quite frankly, you can imagine, and, and I think it was New Jersey. You know, they, they bought some television in, in a Walmart in Georgia and took it to New Jersey and tried to return it. You know, even New Jersey went, what? For them. So they have been denied when it was suspicious, but they're busy selling product. And if somebody had just said, oh, time out, 
how much earlier could they have blown the whistle on this at the retail level? But, you know, they just denied it, pushed them out the door, and went on with their daily business. Absolutely. And I want to thank our prosecutor with statewide prosecution, Rita Peters, who I think uh, Sheriff Judd has coined Rico Rita. Uh, we have some very experienced prosecutors within the Office of Statewide Prosecution, and that's the work of good investigations, good law enforcement, and that's why, again, like I have always said and will continue to say, we must support the recruitment of good men and women into law enforcement and give them the resources they need to do these jobs and put together great cases like this one. Make no mistake about it. You know, I see a bunch of criminals here. The people that don't think they should be locked up see a lot of low-level, nonviolent people. Well, they're not low-level and nonviolent when they sh they're still in millions of dollars. But what I also see here is brilliant criminals. They devised this scheme based upon a lot of work and brainstorming, and it worked for them for a while. Now they're going to go to state prison where they belong for a very long time. You know, I always knew, Attorney General, that, that Rita was, was powerful. I never knew her last name was Peters. I always just called her Rico Rita. So. <laughs> But let me tell you, if you're, if you're contemplating violating the law, you probably need to go to another state because if I can tune you up and get you before uh, General Moody and she assigns it to Rico Rita, you know, she counts decades of how long you go to prison, not how many months or years. She counts in decades. Oh, well, there you all go. I hope you all enjoyed that. And, and I just like a, a little quick comment on that, like, 160 years for stealing stuff, I mean, okay, uh, that's a long time. Uh, you often see these murderers and stuff coming out after three and five years. Uh, I got to wonder if the old uh, judicial system's priorities are a bit missed up. Anyways, that's not for me to decide, is it? Well, I hope you all enjoyed that two-part series, and if you didn't uh, get the first one, uh, I put a link at the beginning there if you go back if you missed it it's a little slidey thing that comes across the screen um, at the top and you can just click on that and that'll take you all over to the, uh, the other one anyways and that's about it I got some links coming up here if it's your first time here please like subscribe and share it please share it a lot if you can because that kind of helped me out and I might be care what I happened to me but uh, you know I, I wouldn't mind that Anyways, y'all have a blessed day. Take care of yourself and take care of each other. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.